you don't know this, I am a huge mega fan of Godzilla. I've watched a ton of the movies. I've read on all the different eras and all the unique monsters. I just love how unashamedly cheesy, but at the same time fucking kick ass the old movies are. <laughs> And I'm really looking forward to this sequel to the new Legendary Pictures version of Godzilla that's supposed to bring in Mothra, Rodan, and King Ghidorah in, uh, I think it's 2018. And I was among the very few people who even gave a shit that there was a new Godzilla game coming out for the PS3 and the PS4 here in the States. I even did an interview for it, which Namco Bandai decided they wanted to copyright claim. I just want a good Godzilla game. I mean, the guy just can't seem to get a break. I had some hope for this one as they talked about how close they wanted it to stick to the movies of old. And honestly, the tutorial starts, innocently enough, black and white, you know, introducing you to the moves. And there's not many, you know, there's a standard attack, a heavy attack, uh, hitting X causes Godzilla to charge forward, and uh, circle controls atomic breath. You may not want to be drinking, you're playing Godzilla. Godzilla, oh shit, it's Godzilla. Oh shit, look, I'm turning. Joe, I'm playing Godzilla. <laughs> I'm playing Gojira. I'm Gojira. I'm Gojira. <laughs> now, some people are going to immediately complain about the slow movement, but the slower pace at, at which Godzilla lumbers about isn't at all the problem, okay? No, it's thematic. Godzilla is basically a tank, and he moves like one. Uh, you have to move left or right by hitting the bumpers. <laughs> It's so weird to have to turn him with the with the, the bumpers? Uh, bumpers, yeah. Uh, do the Godzilla dance. It's a bit annoying, but not hard at all to understand. The issue is nearly everything else with the game and with its controls, especially in kaiju fights, okay? Attack button combinations are too friggin' similar that you will constantly engage other moves that you don't mean. You are fighting with the game itself as much as you are fighting with the other monsters. And it's not supposed to be that way to simulate the old cheesy movies. Don't even start that fanboy shit. I'm saying that these controls are fucking garbage because they are fucking garbage! What? Objection! I spent very little money, Angry Joe, porting this over from Japan! You are misleading people! How dare you have an opinion! Besides, you have no proof! You haven't shown us how bad the game is! Wait, you're not, you're not actually gonna show them how bad the game is, are you? There is a complete lack of a targeting system, making aiming terrible. Terrible! No, you gotta wait. It's empty. I'll tell you when. I'll tell you when. Yeah. Wait for Fuck it. Fuck helicopter. So close. I can't get it, Joe. Yeah. Now! My, my little stubby arms. Now! You missed! Come on, I can't aim it, Joe! God damn it. It's a huge flaw here since you often deal with, guess what, multiple small enemies or multiple and big enemies too. You often miss with no way to lock onto enemies. Trying to hit helicopters and jets is frustrating as hell. <laughs> the biggest offense with combat is there's no real fucking block. The only form of block is when you use Godzilla's special roar move that pushes enemies away. But that's tied to the same meter for your special attack that you will desperately need. I cannot tell you how problematic and stupid this is in practical video game terms.
me to slap you? You just want me to slap you around like you're a little girl, Godzilla? Block, I said. Block. Now that's it. And unless you have meter, most of your enemies are just going to ignore your attacks and power right through them with their own cheap, unblockable combos. Wait for me to charge, you man. Ah, I can't fucking block. This is so much. This is not even a fight. This is literally just hammering buttons. Okay, how do you think I felt with the fucking caliper? What the fuck? Oh, the game fools you at first into thinking it's paying homage to all the films. The theme song blasts, and you're filled with nostalgia. But the game quickly slaps you across the face and shits down your throat. substantial modes. There's only two real modes offline. God of Destruction and King of Kaiju. God of Destruction mode, the main mode of play, has you as Godzilla selecting between 10 missions where your sole objective is to destroy energy generators while growing Godzilla bigger. Godzilla has entered the area. He's going after the generator. You collect this G energy as you destroy buildings and enemy units. But there's no good indicator of how much more powerful you're becoming other than a size meter. Stop shooting at me. Like, I want to know, do you have health? Where is your health? Uh, disaster level, maybe? Do you get more special power? More health? More what? There's no way to fucking tell, so it feels pointless, and you'll quickly just go directly for the only thing that matters, the generators. You do this for level one. You do this for level two. You do it for level three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's no fucking variation. There's no alternate objectives. You just destroy the generators the entire fucking game. It is enough to drive you mad. Is approaching the generator. The generator is losing power. The generator is losing power. Godzilla is approaching the generator. The generator is losing power. Godzilla is approaching the generator. The generator is losing power. Godzilla is approaching the generator. The generator is losing power. Godzilla is approaching the generator. The generator is losing power. You're like, you know what we need to do? Okay, look. Mission seven. Destroy generator. But did we do that for the last? Hey! <laughs> last that guy, fire him! <laughs> and then the next guy that comes guy's in. That guy's thinking outside the box. Fuck that guy. <laughs> no, and then the next guy comes in and he's like, you know what would probably be cool in a Godzilla game is generator. <laughs> yeah! Only one and then... <laughs> and then the second that guy says something bad about generators, He's fired. Even when they tell you a few one single time to destroy submarines, it's still fucking called a generator. I found you. One generator has been destroyed. Generator? It's not a generator. <laughs> it is a generator. If it was a submarine, it was gonna be a break from the generators. And then it turned into a generator! It's not a generator! It's a fucking submarine, you dumb bitch! Generator offline. Only one generator still. You, you guys? You guys couldn't be bothered at all to develop anything else to add to variation. Godzilla shows up, okay? The stupid voice actors say pointless shit. The same pointless shit intro every fucking time. We have movement in the area. It's Godzilla. It's literally the same thing that you've said every fucking level, lady. You destroy the same generators until a monster shows up every once in a while. You attack it, then it's back to the generators. Godzilla is approaching the generator. The generator is losing power. Alright guys. 
This is... Oh my god. You fucking asshole. And sometimes you need to ignore that monster and destroy the other generators before they fucking disappear! Because if you don't, it's game over! Oh god. What the fuck? Ultra! Is this like an the ultra generator? The sequence is complete. We did it. Did you lose? Deactivated generators are now being stored underground. Godzilla can't obtain any more G energy in this area. Wow. The main storyline can be completed in less than one hour. One fucking hour?! I want One fucking hour! I want to miss That's gotta be a new record! <laughs> Admittedly, it is designed that way, though. That's right. This game thinks that what that mode is just so fucking good that it actually forces you to play through this one mode many, many, many times. Not only to be able to unlock the playable kaijus, the other playable kaijus, but to unlock the endings. You are going to be forced to play through it at least four to five times so you can collect every single little data node in the game. Which bafflingly requires you to find special areas where you stand around while the game still plays away shooting at you. So the game can do these different camera angles as some unexplained way to for the government to get more data? What? Why am I helping you collect data on me? That doesn't make any damn sense. And you'll end up in stages that are beyond your current abilities with no warning. It's it's not like you can just exit. Or, and buff your abilities in evolution mode, which isn't a fucking mode, it is a fucking upgrade screen! Oh no! The developers felt that each time you purchase any abilities, they're not gonna carry over to your playthrough. No, instead, you must completely restart and go ashore again. Any evolution modes here will not transfer the data currently in progress in God of Destruction mode. To transfer, Select Go Ashore in either God of Destruction mode or King of Kaiju. Which, if you remember, Go Ashore essentially restarts. How about Fuck You Game? You will get stuck on higher stages and be unable to beat them after repeated attempts and will need to completely start over. It doesn't matter if it says easy or hard, sometimes the easy ones are hard and the hard ones are easy because there's no fucking balance! Who designed this game?! Holy shit, how are you so fucking huge?! 100- What the fuck is this?! What the fuck is- What the fuck?! What the fuck?! What the fuck?! What the- You're supposed to be a larva! What the fuck?! Why are you fuck- What the- You sick bastard! In addition to Godzilla, you can also tackle the mode as other kaijus you unlock via invasion or defend the generators <gasps> as an ally in defense mode. But why would why why you would want to subject yourself to this slow torture is beyond me. I, I need ice cream. I need ice cream We've after this. I can't. It just keeps coming at us. Maybe I've been a bit naive. The locations and levels are absolutely ugly to look at, especially with the shitty weather effects. Oh wow, this this level looks this level looks amazing. Fantastic. Fantastic weather effects. Oh! Smashing into the same identical low texture building over and over. There are there is more variation in the buildings in King of the Monsters 2. A game that is decades old. It is next to pointless 
and not at all satisfying as these buildings ridiculously wiggle in place a few times before exploding in hilarious fashion. I love how the buildings wobble. There's like nothing to them wow, until they explode. Wobbly 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 <laughs> Get this! This, there are invisible walls in this game. Not only are you in the most ridiculously small square area I've ever seen in gaming, it's not this wide open, it's a small area, but even that sometimes puzzlingly has limitations. Godzilla for some reason can't fucking walk into water <laughs> because, you know, this fucking game and it's fucking invisible walls. For the love of Christ, this game design. What? Who would? Would? But? What? Why? Who's there, Joe? What? A full-on atomic breath did nothing to the side of the building. Nope. What the? Oh! 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 You guys be shitting me! God damn it! What are we in? Fucking two thousand. <laughs> And why? That's why I didn't fucking A work. Space Odyssey. Oh, here's here it is. That's why. God. What? Here's my ring. This is my ring. This is my box. I'm contained. Here's your box. What? It's you can contain me. You cannot contain <laughs> the power of Godzilla. Yeah. <laughs> Godzilla, you can't do go nowhere. The monster models are the best looking models in the game, and even these are woefully inadequate to today's standards. Songs are repeated, and while the sound effects are ripped straight from the movies and sound appropriate, including the music, more variation was badly needed, especially when the devs knew how purposefully repetitive their main gameplay is, and they just let the same song play over and over. The other mode, Kaiju Battle, is just as bad, only shorter. It has you fight six stages of kaiju, one right after the other, as fast as you can for a single grind reward at the end. But since the developers decided to wipe their fucking ass with the monster balance of the fighter mechanic document, it's not much fun at all. Some battles are incredibly hard for certain kaijus using cheap moves, and others are ridiculously easy. Ah. <laughs> this game, I just proved how imbalanced this game is. Literally, the last match. It's, oh, I just can't, I can't. No, I'm just I'm kind of scared to see who you're going to fight next. That's what combat is like in this game. If the conditions aren't absolutely perfect. Just awful. And worse, what you unlock in King of Kaiju mode is completely random. It doesn't matter who you use to complete the mode, or who you fight in the mode. What the fuck? I fucking did it! 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 Never have to play this mode again! Got Evolution Factor Mecha... What did I get? Evolution... Uh, I missed it. I'm about to find out. No, Evolution Factor... Chat! What do we get? I didn't even get the goddamn energy. The only way to get energy is by beating the fucking game. But I could just fight him in any of the goddamn God, God of Destruction mode levels and get the same fucking thing! How am I supposed to unlock upgrades for a specific kaiju that I want? Specific cells? Play through God of Destruction mode a hundred times? Yes. Yes! That is seriously what they want you to do. But no! No! Fucking thanks! So boring. So boring. It is absolutely unforgivable that a full price title like this, $60, has cut so many corners. This is essentially a PS3 port from Japan with an added online versus mode. In and it's, oh my god, and that's even more insulting to think about when they completely failed to include a local offline battle mode so that you could fight with your favorite monsters against each other, your friends. It says one fucking player, are you serious? What the fuck? 
No, uh uh, back up, back up, uh, yeah, back out of here. No, back out of okay. here. That would be so fucking stupid. Network battle against other players. Network battle. I can't believe they didn't do that. Why? Why? Oh my god. Nope, it's just online, so you have to buy multiple copies of this shit! Proof that the developers are incompetent, don't give two shits, and are taking advantage of the fans. They remade the game! This is a remake, and they didn't include the most idiot obvious feature! I had, you had to buy. It. You had to buy. I gotta go buy it. You gotta I buy go a copy. Go I gotta buy a copy. Then you gotta buy another three hundred dollar PlayStation Four. I gotta buy a three hundred dollar PlayStation Four just so I can play some Kaiju. Goddamn Kaiju. 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 If it's supposed to be a re-release or a remaster, why are you selling it for sixty dollars? Because fuck you. Give me money. Damn it, okay, okay, Angry Joe, stop it, just stop it, you win, alright? <sighs> I just have one message to all the Godzilla fans. Fuck you, give me money! <laughs> you know you like this shit! I can't. I can't with this game. No. It's so funny. <laughs> the only my face hurts. You wasted my gas. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you care about! Yes! You're getting you raised my guess. So, Versus Online lets you go against one or two other strangers. But again, the lack of real blocks and evasion moves leads to incredible balance issues. Just shocking. And three player matches just turn into one person hiding while the other two gang up on one player when there's no health power ups or rewards for anything. My tail's hanging out. No one's gonna see me. Shh. Turn a little bit. No, I mean, when you guys do it, and then building falls down, they're gonna see you. You think so? Yeah. No, this is how you win games right here. This is how we do it. This is how we win games. Who the fuck is he fighting or is he looking for me? Oh, shit. Oh. Hey, he's coming for you. Oh, no. Oh. Is he turning around? Oh, there he goes. There he goes. There we go. If you get two of the same monster against you, they will almost always team up on your ass for being different. Myth busted. Well, this just sucks. Yeah. And tons of blood. Just because you're both Mega Godzillas doesn't mean you gotta come <laughs> over here and fucking attack me. <laughs> fucking lame motherfucker. <laughs> And despite players being able to level up their monsters over that insane grind for many hours, days, months, making extremely powerful upgraded Godzillas, there is zero matchmaking! Well look, we're playing level 31s and shit, you know? Can you do a little bit better matchmaking? 46 Can we get a little bit better matchmaking? Both of you have to go attack the giant. Joe, I'm going up against even Higher level guys, 186 and 136. This is true, man. It was only 150. <laughs> yeah, I won. <laughs> it just places you against random players, all who are mega fans who are stupid enough like me to buy the game. So are at level 150 plus, while you are shit. Lag, frame rate issues, and a total lack of balance and any sort of human rational thought to fairness make this one of the worst online games I have ever had the displeasure of playing. Yeah. <laughs> completely whipped. <laughs> oh, so much lag. Oh. That smile. Oh, oh you, you lost. Back while I win. You lost connection. Technically, I win. I fucking win. That's, that's a good freeze frame. Freeze frame. <laughs> It's the wide. famous Jit Jackson. Oh look, you can fight. They're fighting. No, they're not. What's going on in the background? They're fighting in the background. No, oh, they're walking away. <laughs> their game's over. <laughs> they're just going to their respective corners. It's, it's uh, it's over. <laughs> you know, with a halfway decent and thought out combat system, 
This Godzilla could have been a much better game. The foundation is there somewhere. Instead, you spam the three same attacks. You puzzlingly fail to connect against your opponent when you should. Okay, I am hitting it. I can't get no closer than that. I can't get any closer than this. Really? Really? What the fuck? You'll get dropped out of your attack animations and locked into stumble animations against flurries of inescapable, unblockable combos from other kaiju. And you could do it to the computer yourself. Karate, karate, karate. Karate, karate, karate. Karate, karate. Do you think I'm scared of you? Go back to space, bitch. Karate! Karate! Space Godzilla has gone down. <laughs> so it really becomes this stupid game to see whose bar fills fastest as you take damage. It's as if no one play tested it or whoever did just said, fuck it, it's fine, who cares? Uh, I have a report due tomorrow. Here, just take it. Uh, maybe no one will notice. What the fuck do you people do in your life, David? David, you can't be sitting here getting 97 wins and level 124 in this game. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? You, you have two meters. I don't. Even, I don't have two meters, David. I have one meter. You feel good about- Oh, you have three meters! Oh, you can shoot that thing three times. That's cool. Oh, you can shoot the thing four times in a row. That's fucking awesome, David. Oh, you can shoot the thing five times in a row, David. David, do you feel good about yourself? Do you feel better about yourself? Here. Yeah, there you go. There you go, David. Here, I'll, I'll even- There you go, David. There you go, huh? Here, here, make it easier for you, David. There you go. You feel good? Oh, wow. You are so good, David. Oh, man. Fucking pro MLG. I just, oh. Oh, jeez. I can't. Your power, your power is too much. Dude, you should go to a tournament, man. You can win hundreds of thousands of dollars, David. Why are people playing this online? There's also a kaiju guide, which is basically a Wikipedia about all the monsters. But there are much better websites on the fucking internet for this very same thing. Orga? Orga's not in this game. They have an entry about Orga. I wonder if uh, Megalon is in the game. Or Titanosaurus? That'd be crazy if they had Titanosaurus. Y'all even know who I'm talking about? Y'all probably don't know who Titan Sword, Titan Sword is. And finally, oh, I forgot! The game's saving grace is that they included what amounts to the best mode I have ever seen in gaming. A diorama mode! Unlocked monsters can be placed in different tiny scenery locations and posed for photographs! Why would I want to create dioramas with this crappy graphics? I mean, that does this does not make sense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am unable to comprehend. You, you this. make this and then you take it to school for show and tell. It's basically uh, what the fucking looks like. Uh, what a what fucking waste of time mode. It's fucking insane. <laughs> Who the fuck? 75 megabytes? <laughs> yeah, I wanna overwrite 75. How dare that take up 75 megabytes? Continue this mode, fuck no. It is an unfinished, poorly developed cash-in that has the audacity to charge its fans full retail price for what amounts to a $10, $15 game, a steaming pile of underdeveloped ideas. In short, it sucks pee pee. Oh, 
want to see every one of these motherfuckers. Like Yoko Ono. Wait, what? Yoko Ono? Localization support? Why did Yoko Ono work on this game? No, that's why! Yoko Ono. No wonder. I know! Now I know why this game is so unnaturally bad. We found it. That was worth all of the effort. It was 100% worth the effort. Yoko Ono once again screwing everything up. Mind-numbingly repetitive, outright criminal, and supremely insulting in game development for the year 2015. How this was allowed by Sony or Namco uh, to come out for $60, I will never, ever know. If you just want to see buildings get destroyed by Godzilla, you can download countless free mobile games for that. Fuck this game! Oh, jam yourself in that building, son! Next one. Oh, look at that clipping! Yeah. Oh, so good! So good clipping! Oh, it feels so good on my body. <laughs> there is no reason to play this Godzilla game with halfway other decent ones out there. Stop lying to yourself and punishing yourself and training yourself to call this a complete and worthwhile game. Just fucking stop it. Hey guys, how's it going? Just focus down here. Don't focus up there. Focus yeah. down here. We should put the How big screen doing? on us, the small screen on this game. So. Namco Bandai should be ashamed of themselves. Shame. And how dare they? Shame. And they need to hire Shame. different developers to make Shame. Godzilla games better. Shame. And I swear to God, Joe. Shame. If you lose this Shame. mission, after all that hard work I did, Shame. I'm gonna scream. Shame. Now lose this mission! If you look at your disaster Shame. level, which we have no idea what that means. I don't know what that Shame. means. Shame. It's pretty hot. Shame. And don't tell me look in the instruction manual. Shame. Because here's what's in the box. Shame. What's in the box? Shame. This is in the box. <laughs> nothing. Shame. Absolutely Shame. nothing. Easily one of the worst games and cash grabs of the year. I just I just wanna I just wanna beat the senior designer over the head with the wiffle bat just to get my frustration out after having played this game. Where is he? Bring him to me! Bring him to me! Literally, the only good thing about it is that the fact that it has so many sea of the monsters in the series, even in multiple versions, like fan favorites too. We did it. Yeah! Jet Jaguar! We fucking unlocked Jet Jaguar, Joe! Yes! This is the only good part in the fucking game. Each kaiju also has its own unique set of moves and special power attacks, but I expect this. This is what we should expect. Now, it sucks I couldn't do one of my favorite Godzilla moves in the game. All right. Who do you work for, man? Who? <laughs> oh, that's rich. <laughs> so, there's no doubt some fan service here. There is fan service. It's just a shame that the rest of the game isn't very good at all. Immediately run from anyone who calls this game good or, or even average. They have no idea what goes into good game design and interesting mechanics. No idea. The final verdict for Godzilla is a two, two out of 10. It is insultingly bad, tedious, irritating, bare minimum effort. In its current form, the best it could have gotten is a fucking three from nostalgia. But that would have been if it hadn't been basically what amounts to the same fucking single hour of repetitive gameplay over and over just to unlock shit which you can then use to play the same shitty hour of repetitive gameplay over and over again. Or you could go online for the most unbalanced shit fest ever created. No! Fucking two! Two out of ten!
You are better off buying a Godzilla collection DVD pack and re-watching some of the good Godzilla films than wasting your time on this. I want to strangle anyone who makes this recommendation to some poor unsuspecting gamer or parent for their Godzilla fan. After fucking 60 years, it's time Godzilla got done right and the justice that he deserves, not this piece of shit. Until then, I'll see you guys on the next motherfucking Angry Joe show. Fuck! See this thing right here? It's broken. We have to uh, improvise. <laughs> About this shit. I'll turn it away. <laughs> what? There's a hole in it! What? I fucking knew it! Fucking cheap ass cousin. Let me get the fucking tape. Oh my god, it's so hot in here. Loaded, loaded. Ha. Release on the job. Oh. You hurt yourself punching me? I think so. My finger hurt. I was hitting, hitting plastic. Steel. steel. Plastic? Somewhere. Plastic. This yeah. is steel, son. <laughs> steel. I don't think that's gonna work. Got down, I know. It keeps going towards the wall. God damn it. It's not as easy as you think. God damn it. Yeah. Maybe we should just use computer graphics. Hurry! Ah. <laughs> Sorry, you're cutting my toes!